Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. Let's talk about the water pick. So who is the water pick good for? Who is the water pick not good for? And how do you use it properly? And which one should you purchase? Because there's so many out there these days. So first of all, honestly, I think that the water pick is good for anybody. I suppose the only people that I would say it's not good for is if you you brush, you know, three times a day, you floss twice a day, you have no plaque, you have no tartar, you have no stain. You know, there's nobody out there like that. Even for myself, okay, I like to think that I can brush perfectly, I can do everything perfectly, but I still get plaque, I still get tartar, and I still get stain. But with the water pick, it just helps to kick up your oral hygiene habits up a notch, you know. Now, what a lot of people think, however, about the water pick is that, you would use the water pick and you don't need to brush or you don't need to floss, but that is not true. The water pick is used along with brushing twice a day and make sure to still use the floss every day. Now, having that said though, I have a lot of patients um, that tell me that they don't have time to um, floss or they don't want to. So in that case, I tell them you need, <laughs> it's not a want, but you need to buy in that case a water pick because if you're not getting in between the teeth every day with a string type of um, um, floss, then you need to be getting in there somehow. And the water pick is excellent because it does help to go right in between the teeth. So I'm showing you guys an image here. So you see this little um, attachment. So some water picks do come with a couple attachments, which is excellent. You only really need at least one, and that's the one that will go for mainly in between the teeth because that's what it's there for. It just helps you, you know, place the water pick um, in between the teeth or in those harder to reach areas, turn it on, and that water stream pushes out and will help to get everything out that's in between the teeth. It's excellent. And I do have a picture here um, where somebody has ortho. It, it helps so much to get right in between the teeth. Now, this picture is, is almost implying that it's taking away stain. Now, it does help to take away stain, but not if the stain has been there for too long. If it's been there for years, it's caked on there pretty well. That, the water pick probably can't get that off and you should be seeing your um, den, um, dental hygienist in that case to remove that stain but it does help with um, plaque um, it doesn't really help with tartar because harder um, tartar is that harder plaque that calcifies to the teeth um, you can try to get the tartar off with the water pick, but it just simply won't get everything off. And that is when it's a good idea to book an appointment with your dental um, hygienist for a teeth cleaning. But what the water pick is for is to help to get that, that plaque, those popcorn kernels, um, food that gets caught stuck from in between the teeth. So it is excellent, honestly. I tell pretty much anybody that it's a good idea to invest in a water pick because the nice thing is you would take the lid off here. Um, you can f um, um, fill that up with warm water so it doesn't have to be cold. You know, it obviously doesn't have to be hot, but you would fill that up with water here, turn it on, and that's it. Now, make sure to use this over the sink because water does come out. So you want to kind of lean over the sink and then kind of use it that way. Um, and this one, I have this picture as well because it shows that it comes in different speeds. Typically, they're the speeds one to 10 or it could be low to high. Medium is where you want to keep the water pick because if it's too low, the water is barely coming out and not really doing anything. But if it's too high, you can actually cause um, damage to the gums around the teeth. So to damage the gums, you don't want to obviously do that. So I would keep it at a medium, maybe slightly, um, slightly higher than medium, but you don't want it too high. Um, what else? Um, they do come in different shapes and sizes. Just the main thing to look for is that you are able 
to fill it up yourself with water. Um, check to make sure you are able to get different speeds because if it's too low, it's too low and it's not and it's not helping you. So it's nice to be able to um, have different speeds. If you want it portable, then you would want a much smaller unit than this one as an example. But the nice thing about a larger unit is that you don't have to fill it up as, as often with water. So it just kind of depends on your needs and what you want the water pick there for. And it's nice when it does come with different attachments, but the main one you need is kind of like a thin one like this to get right in, um, right in between the teeth. So it just kind of depends on what your needs are. So who is the water pick good for? Honestly, it's good for everybody. It, it just helps to get things out that have been stuck from in between the teeth and it does help to reach those harder to reach areas. So I do hope this helped here. Let me stop sharing my screen here. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please just let me know. I do love the water pick. No, I'm not being paid to say this. Um, it's just something that I like to recommend for a lot of my patients and patients also love them because it's just so easy to use and it does help to get right in between those so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions let me know and i will see you guys in the next one